Oh, do you know I'm back for another review of one of the most dreadful video games I've ever imagined. Spyro and the Dragonfly. I know it's based on a beloved video game series from 1998. Let me tackle this one. Development started around April 2000. But it was planned by Equinox. Even though Insomniac was moving on to doing Ratchet and Clank, who would eventually be involved in Insomniac Spider-Man, yeah, which was based on the iconic 1962 superhero character same name, this pu their publishing agreement between Sony and Universal would end on that same time it would begin development. Around this time, it was pitched to the original Xbox, and also PS2, PC, GameCube, and Game Boy Advance. Throughout its early ideas, Disney Interactive Studios was involved, who were best known for producing gargoyles, had some interesting ideas. As what Equinox was doing, the concept was very simple. A plot mostly involves around Ganassi, Kinok, and Ripto teaming up to ransack the dragonflies, and Spyro is forced to be sent on a quest to save the dragonflies from both of the villains. However, according to reality, I've learned they were supposed to be having a total of maybe like a total of I'm guessing we were supposed to be getting a total of like around hmm my tummy saying Mm, yummy, yummy, in my tummy. Like the year of the dragon example, all I'm getting is that this game, the third one that takes place after two and one and two, had a total of. Let me just check. Let me just check. Let me just check. Let me just check. Hmm. Let me say. Paradox Power 150 Dragon Eggs. Aha! I found the source of it! So, during development of this game, as I know, I did some development searching, Ricky Rukavina had some sort of an idea of what the concept was going to be like. They wouldn't be any evil dragons involved in Spyro, so existing beards could be shoehorned in the story. There would be like a total of 150 dragon eggs that were planned according to press reports, and a total of over 25 levels on a spawn of 6 home worlds, and a frame rate of 60 frames per second, and relatively fast loading tiles. However, it suffered from an inconsistently intoxicated rush into a Christmas deadline. Although there were only like six hub worlds planned for it. Sunshine Hub, Rain Hub, Snow Hub, Windy Hub, Jurassic Hub, and Haunted House Hub. Wait a minute! Haunted House Hub? Hang on a minute. Why do I get the word Haunted House? Hmm, Haunted House Hub. What does it mean if I made you get something of what I saw in Bleach? I know it's very spooky, but is this something weird that would give the franchise a death sentence? There's one bad egg I can tell you the truth. The biggest elephant in the room is that they cutted everything away from it. And there were only nine levels and 190 dragonflies. But there are only like 28 songs involved, and 40 of them would be the Master Disc soundtrack. Into this final game, it was a divergence in the wrong direction of gaining negative reviews. And all I can say is the plot isn't that great. I know the CGI animation is terrible, the, the mechanics are not that great. I really like the soundtrack and its songs, but they only have one boss in it, and it's not that really good game for me to handle it you know it is so bad and unpleasant that the mechanics are not good and you know what they want to kill it with in this purple pane of in this 
Let me just go back and start it from. Within this purple reign of pain, all I can say is, there's no turning back, 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 back. As I'm really going to, to give it like a, I should give this one a 2.5 uh, to 4.6 out of 10. It is not a good game for me to handle because Bianca only appears in the beginning of the game and she disappears the, for the rest of the game. Oh, that's good. And there's nothing special. I know it's sad that this was the last game in this original style before they have to shift it to Spyro Attack of the Rhinox. As I noticed, this is not a good idea to believe it's true. Ah, uh, but, you know what they say? Scratch that. Toy Story 2, I mean, Toy Story 2 had better CGI graphics than this piece of shit. Ah, uh, this is the, one of the most drugged up video games I've ever imagined. Ugh. I had no idea what I'm doing. Ugh.